Hey guys, welcome back. It is currently uh, off work time right now, so we're only waiting for Carla. She is at a company meeting right now, and um, basically, I just gotta wait for her. She gets home, then we're gonna get ready, go to the gym, go work out. that we're gonna come back home and we're going to build a gingerbread house and we'll walk well not walk you through the steps but we're just gonna take you guys along with us building a gingerbread house that I did make a quick stop before I got home Carla has been dropping hints that she's been wanting this jacket from Urban Outfitters for quite some time now um, so I called a, co a couple of Urban Outfitters and both of them did not have the jacket she wanted I called one more and they had it the exact color, the exact same size. So I went ahead and placed a, put a hold on it, went, picked it up today, and now I have it. Got to surprise her with it. I don't want to give it to her as a gift, like for Christmas. I want to give it to her like now because she has been wanting this jacket. And she I think she wants to wear it like like throughout this little holiday season. So I think it would be in her best interest if I just gave it to her now. But I want to surprise her. I don't just want to give it to her. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this sucker, um, Penelope, bring this guy. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all my clothes and I'm just going to put it right there. And she loves whenever I tell her, hey, I did something to the house or or hey, I went ahead and cleaned or did anything to the house that gets her really excited. So I'm gonna think what I'm gonna tell her is that like that I reorganized the closet. Um, and I think that's gonna get her to walk inside and look at it. And when she does walk in, or I hopefully she sees the jacket right off the bat, she gets excited. So I'm gonna try to record her reaction as well. So I will bring you guys along through that and we'll watch. Alright guys, so I have Carla outside in the car. Okay, I told her to wait out there. I told her, hey, I got some presents that I'm wrapping for Christmas. I don't want you to see us wait in the car and put everything away real quick. We just got back from the gym, so that's the only way I can get away with that. So, I have her jacket right there behind that curtain. When she walks in, she's going to walk, pull the curtain off, and see her, her jacket off. This is something she's been wanting for a while. Um, and she thinks she might be getting it, but it's going to be probably for like a Christmas gift. But I... I haven't made it seem like I'm gonna get her that jacket. So I wanna give it to her before Christmas because I know she wants to wear it through, you know, throughout the season right now because it's kinda cold out here already. And um, I'm just really excited to give her, give her this jacket. So I'm gonna go ahead, call her in real quick, and then let's see her reaction. Hopefully it's good. What is it? Oh, you got it for me. Oh, when did you go? When did you go? I went today. Oh, I like it. It's cute. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, wow. I really wanted it. Turn it on. Like perfect? I like it. Or is it too big? Be honest. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, babe. Thank you. What is up, you guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is nighttime, as you guys can tell. We went to the gym. Well, we both worked today. My lips are super chopped. We went to the gym. We got in a good workout. Enrique was having kind of an off day, but it's okay. We all have those. And now we are home and today we are going to be making the gingerbread house that we showed you guys um it is pre-built but like i said that's the only one that they had they didn't have the ones where you build anymore so we decided to just get one and decorate one because then other than that it's just kind of like a waste of money if you know what i mean so um yeah but when we got home enrique surprised me enrique was so nice and he bought me this denim jacket sorry the lighting is terrible but we're gonna have to deal with it he bought me this denim jacket that i've been wanting from urban outfitters and i actually saw alicia marie one of my favorite youtubers have it and he got it but he got it in the in the small which is what i wanted um but it is a men's and i wanted like an oversized fitting i kind of like it it's also not styled correctly so i'll show you guys um 
I'm sure once I like style it, it'll look a lot better, but it is a little like oversized. Um, I just don't know if it's like a lot, but you can also like curl it in if you know what I mean, like like this, you know, and it'll still look like cute. I'm still unsure, but I need to style it um, and also style myself. <laughs> But I think it looks cute. Like, I kind of really like that oversized look. Um, they don't have it in extra small anymore. Um, but it was a little pricey. Um, so, if I'm going to keep it, I need to make sure that, like, I really do like it. Um, I'm really into, like, oversized clothes right now. Um, I also want to purchase, like, a few oversized um, t-shirts. Let me know what you guys think. It's also not styled, so maybe I should wait till I style it. You guys, I have hair, I swear. It's just, I decided to put it in the bun. Yeah, but I'll see you guys in the next clip when Enrique joins me. He's taking a shower. Okay, bye. All right, guys. We are going to build a gingerbread house. We bought this one at Target. And it was, how much, babe? $9.90. About 10 bucks. Okay, so... Just a little update here. You guys might call us cheaters because this house is actually pre-made. I told them it was the only one they had though. Well, she's lying to you guys. This is the reason why we got a pre-made one. Last year, we got a little village where we had to make the gingerbread houses ourselves and they were falling apart. But they came off no, <laughs> no, they were not. I had to cut like the pieces of the bread or whatever, like the cookie. I had to modify things. And it did not come out good. I thought I was pretty good. And, um, what? You had this. Ew. What is that? It's like a glitter. Oh, it's glitter. That looked like a booger. Because I was flicking my boogers earlier. And I thought maybe one fell in my hair. Anyway, guys, we are going to start by opening it up. Okay. Don't judge us, okay? I know it is pre made, but. But literally, like, they had the village, but because we did the village last year, I didn't want to do it again. And they didn't have any more of the houses, is what I mean. The ones where you built, remember? Yes. All they had was a pre-built, and that's because we kind of waited too long to buy them. And we wanted to do them now, so we're like, granted, we only went to one target, but it's fine. All right, so we traded spots because apparently my face is getting cut off. Um, so let's see what comes in the box. We have... These little, I don't know, these little round they were candies, hard candy. which by the way, they taste horrible. Yeah, we tried them all. And then, these are like other hard candies. <laughs> and then we got like some I'm like pretty sure gushers. these are bubble, 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 bubble gum. It's actually. not bubble gum. Oh, no? They're hard, they're like job And then we got these. You guys don't look at my crusty nails. I can't get them done anymore. And then we have these ones, which is like smaller ones. Whoa, there you go. And there you go. Don't know if that's in there. <gasps> First of all, I don't know why Carla has to put her hand behind the things each and every single time. Because it focuses <clears> on <throat> you. Look, check this out. This is how you focus it. See this? It's pretty damn focused, right, guys? Because the YouTubers do it. <laughs> all right, here's icing. <clears throat> Red icing. That's it. And then the big sucker. Which I don't know what we need. It's not a sucker, it's icing. Well, the big sucker icing. Be careful when you open that because be careful. Why? Because it's literally directly above the house. Yeah. <gasps> there it is. Putting so we can decorate it under and we won't make it. Look up. at this. <clears throat> oh, so it's, it's already ten times better than our the dead house. <laughs> and we haven't even done anything, sir. You wanna cut it? Yeah. I'm trying to be very careful because I ruin everything. And we get like the precise one and I'm just a hot mess. That is not true. <clears throat> you have it more put together. You're just too damn modest. Look at our little ginger. Does it smell good? Oh, I want to make gingerbread cookies. Don't get too close to it, you know. Chances are we're probably not going to eat it. It probably tastes disgusting though because it's been like with the icing for a while. All right. Mm. All right. How do you want to start this off? I don't know. I don't know what this is for. This is no, they. Well, how are you gonna stick these on without any of that? Oh, that's, that's what that's for. True. So, how do you want to go about this? What do you want to put on the top? Do you want to try? I actually wouldn't mind doing all of this. The little thingy thread. Baby, get a butter knife so we can smear some stuff. Butter knife so we can smear it. 
If we got a smear like this, for example, if we're gonna put something here. No? Okay, never mind. All right, where do you want me to put red? Can I put red wherever? Yeah. Should I make these white? Yeah. Oh, we should do snow falling. I agree. You want to stand this up like this? Okay. So. This is why you get two houses. Uh, no, we're gonna make this work. Let's do it. <laughs> this Go is why you get two houses. Go for it. Let's do it. I want to open it first. It's not open. I think you gotta put a tip on. Yeah, it says important. I guess we should probably do that. Yeah, um, important for best results. Um, oh, massage the icing. Okay, do not microwave the icing. But it's the same kind of Baby, I think we just gotta cut the top off. Okay, well, we have to massage the icing for one to two minutes. You start putting red. Where do you want to put red? I want to make a red door. Can we do a red door? Yeah, but I was also thinking we can do... Babe, don't eat those. They have... They're for decoration. No, it's good. Eat your gummy bears. <laughs> this is why you get yeah. two houses. Where do you smell that? Wow, it tastes like mint, dude. Ew, I smell it. If you guys asked my coworker, she would be down to take pictures of us for our two year anniversary. She said yes. You're Oh, what the heck, like, we don't even know you guys, like, he did, nah, 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 nah. I don't, don't defend it either. You guys were all dumb, these guys were saying things, and instead of being smart, because we're all drunk, you guys, you guys get up and start like, excuse me, who are you talking about, blah, blah, blah. And then Ivan felt entitled to get up, We're obviously, putting him on blast. And, um, <laughs> and defend you guys, or, or at least, you know. Which I appreciate. Which is cool, I get it, but, one thing is to another, and now all these guys are now approaching Ivy. Yeah. I go it is dumb. to just separate, you know, Ivan from potentially getting in a fight. And as I'm trying to do that, one of the guys comes and punches me right in the freaking face. So Enrique gets punched. I'm freaking out because I'm talking to this guy. This is the first time he meets my friends, like actually meets them and hangs out with them. I'm so embarrassed. He's like on the floor getting hit by five guys, which Enrique, that was kind of hot. Um, so he was like getting it. So then my friend, our friend gets knocked out by this big ass guy. And my other friend, it's just I lose my phone. Everybody, it's hysterical. It's like fucking hysterical. Then I'm like trying to get people to call the cops because. I mean, I don't have my phone, I can't find it. My friend's like knocked out on the floor. Follow the pattern. And everybody's like walking by, looking at us like we're idiots. And I'm like, call the cop. Like call someone, he's knocked out on the floor. Like luckily we turn him to the side like you're supposed to do. And, oh, that was Oh, cool. hurry up. So we turn him to the side, luckily. He was fine. And then they end up leaving. This girl comes back like running and the cops like actually legit pushed her into the car because she's like, I can't find my phone. I can't find my phone. It was just a shit show. It was literally like that was the first time. And Enrique's getting hit. And I'm telling the guys, that's, I'm, <laughs> that's my boyfriend. Get off my boyfriend. And we weren't dating. And we weren't dating, but like what were you supposed to, what was I supposed to say? Get off the guy I'm talking to. Get off the guy I'm talking to. You know? Wait, one more. So that was our night, guys. Like, so this new year, I think we're just like trying to chill. <laughs> what did we do last new year? Mm. I'm Ikea. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Ikea's house. Because we are not about to go out again. 
Bobby is traumatized. Let me know if you guys have ever had anything like that happen to you. Look at these little trees we can put right What's here. What's funny though, is that when that guy hit me right in the face, he didn't do anything to me. And I, as soon as he hit me, he like goes and hides behind the other three guys he was with. So, I locked onto that guy. And as soon as I locked onto him, like I'm the one trying to like stop the argument and he punched me. So I was like, what the fuck? So then, at that point, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I attack him. I, I jump on him and I start hitting him and instantly, boom, there's like 10 guys now and they're all like kicking me and yeah. I mean, they really, it's crazy. I don't know, maybe it's the adrenaline of being in the fight, but you don't feel anything. It was You're, the adrenaline. Um, I do remember the next day though, had a bunch of little bruises on my back. <laughs> you did, I, I did too because I actually jumped into get Enrique out of it, because I felt like a freaking asshole. I just felt like that. But Enrique held it down, man. Like like I said, it was kind of hot. <laughs> and he looked all cute, and like, he had such a cute outfit on. Yeah, I got a grass stain on my suit, man. Yeah, he looked so cute, but. And then him just like fighting, I was like, damn, sadie. That's how you do it. That's how you get a girl. I try to play it so hard too, like I didn't like Enrique. And I was like, and he's five. He's okay, but he ain't all bad. She would text me and I would purposely not text her back for like another hour, just to, yeah. Which I didn't care. Bull oh, crap, you didn't care. He said I would take forever to text that. You know how you can see the little bubbles? And you can see someone is like ready to type? It was like that like all What did you say though? Remember you said that I would take forever sometimes and you purposely take forever? I didn't say that. He said he was like eager to type me back. I didn't know. But I was taking forever so then he would take forever. Mm. Ugh. So that was our new year, 2017 going into 2018. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jungle's like black. But like once you hit 21. All right. So this is the front. She's pretty. Got little snow. No, but looks cute. This is the back of the house. Show them the backyard. There is none. And then, Enrique wanted to place it on some of this, and it's in a break. This is the side. It's so cute. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this story time slash gingerbread vlog. And let us know in the comments, answer the questions we ask you. But, make sure that you give this video a... Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a vlog, and so you don't miss our 12 days of Christmas. But we will see you guys tomorrow for our next video. Um, we're just gonna vlog tomorrow. Just go about the regular day, right? Yes. See how it goes. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.